What's up guys, Zfarls here with NFL Playoffs. 26 new sets have come into the game in introducing a lot of new players. So we are gonna break them down for you right now, not waste any time. But quick Mutt PSA, uh, a lot of players in the auction house have gone down in price. There's some really good values out there. If you've been waiting to buy, now is the time. If you've been saving those coins this weekend, as these packs gets opened up for the playoffs, I'll really take a look and see who you are going to utilize for the next month or two. And that's just a quick PSA, but let's look into the playoff content. What's up, Mad Men of the People? Zfarl's back here with another review of Ultimate Team. There's brand new playoff content in the game today for the playoffs, of course. And it all comes down to this. This is a blog on the Facebook channel for Madden Ultimate Team, so make sure to check it out. It's the Playoff Blitz. So what are the details? Well, there's a special limited head-to-head -head event going on this weekend, but there's also new items in players. So there's new rewards, you have new sets, and we're gonna look mainly at the players today. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of each team. We will go more in depth in a later video, so look out for that uh, late on Saturday, possibly Sunday morning, we'll go in depth on each player. This is the first cornerback available for the Texans. Uh, there are 10 Texans playoff players and you can earn their leader by getting him all the players in there and this guy will come out of the set. So 91 speed, 94 man, 92 zone with 90 press and 92 play rec. I do not see anything wrong with this item in almost any way. 94 acceleration. This guy to me is right up there with the Xavier Rhodes that's out there all of the fastest corners and mutts. Now he's at 91 speed, but I don't think that's an issue because his other ratings are so solid. I mean, you're gonna have this guy, if you have David Amerson on your team, motivator up to 96. Malcolm Butler, you're gonna have him at 94. This is pre-chemistry. I mean, this are some significant items that came out today in Ultimate Team. Here is a quick look at some of the other guys. Now, we'll break down more of the full ratings, but I'll give you a couple guys to look for as we go through these. Obviously, Will Fuller's been a stud for a lot of uh, teams and there's even some gold guys to look for now levy has always been a little bit slow in ultimate team he's finally up to 86 speed here he has hot hands if you need a uh, play recognition guy who has good zone coverage across the middle of the defense to kind of sit there and a guy that's always reported as levy just plays well Le levy just plays well and you look at the stats and you're like but he's not athletic he's not tall like levy just plays well this is a guy you could put in your lineup like a sean lee style option um Glover Quinn was a great free safety last year. He's not the guy that I like to utilize this year, but um, you never know. And then, of course, Gold's not too much I'm eyeing right now. Let's see, uh, Eli Manning has Conductor, so finally an elite Eli Manning option to go to for all the Giants fans out there. The best looking, highest throwing, stud muffin quarterback on the planet. 92 throw powers, his only real weakness all the ratings across the board in the 90s has conductor should be a good value you know you compare him to the AJ McCarron you can can compare him to uh, you know Matt Stafford who is 20k but doesn't have conductor you can compare him to Derek Carr who's a little faster but it's gonna cost 100k we'll see where this Eli settles at because he's part of this set but um, the Giants playoffs guys you got a Damon Harrison who at this point has got to be getting up there man he's had a, a tremendous season gonna be more of a strength guy but he's a little slow and then the Canard at 89 is a cover linebacker. He hasn't uh, done too much. There's also the Eli Apple, uh, who was a budget sleeper for us at the start of the year. You could check out this Eli Apple if you need some cheap coverage in the secondary at corner. This Jarvis Landry has playmaker and apparently has 73 run block or so, but with just 91 speed and 91 route running and 90 catching traffic, he's great at all areas of football and he has playmaker and route running, which are two, two of the best. But he's so balanced that, like I say, sometimes all the balance and having everything can kind of hurt you because you're not a specialized guy in one area and then I don't know what to do with you besides just use you and be really good, but you don't spec like Randy Moss. You don't catch in traffic like Ed McCaffrey. You don't, uh, you know, you're not as fast as Brandon Cook. So like finding a spot for him it's up to you uh, Matt Moore gets an elite Kenny Stills Tony Lippett at corner those are some options for there now Jimmy Graham we saw him a lot this weekend in the single elimination portion of the Madden Bowl where he was jumping over guys six foot seven this 
is just out of control. 94 spec catch, 92 catch in traffic, which is something Jimmy Graham usually doesn't have. 91 route running, pretty strong. Run block could be better, but I mean, he's just a receiver through and through. Um, 91 route running is really good with that speed, with that just body type and those animations you're gonna get pre-boost. Like this Jimmy Graham's gonna be tough. KJ Wright, this is a zone cover, hit power, maybe a cheaper version of the levy right there uh sean lee i really like what he does uh the baldwin i bet is pretty good and that's what i would look for out of seattle Legarrett blunt gets an item for the pats what 90 speed i heard he's in the 90s for strength 96 trucking i mean ricky williams also battle ready but ricky williams has more elusive but if you just need a true battle ready back and you're tired of derrick henry and you don't mind a little bit of an agility this blunt is going to be serious with the truck and just moving forward mowing down defenders um trying to see there's a right end up there that's okay uh logan ryan should be pretty good with zone if you need somebody that james white might be okay out of the backfield uh shay mcclellan might do some unique things uh, with like finesse move I'd have to kind of update on him but we'll continue like I said in our next video so make sure to follow the channel and let us know uh, what players else you want to see broken down on this playoff uh, content Marcus Peters boosts up to 93 speed this guy started the season very low I was kind of bummed out because he had such a good year he started out low to me and I was like man what if he never makes it up but he has made it up in in spurts so he's up to 93 speed which is great 91 zone his uh, 91 man his zone is the low but i mean with this press and play rec i'm willing if you have you know some ways to get that up could just could just sneak that to 90 i don't know um but he's so much faster than the texans player Bouye that we showed earlier there's a trade-off there i mean almost like 91 he was Bouye was 91 peters is 93 so I like the Peters. I'm, I'm slightly concerned about the zone, but I think he'll he'll be okay. Other Chiefs, I mean, Poe gets a 91 DT. Alex Smith gets a 92 quarterback, which is going to be balanced. Tyreek Hill gets a 90 wide receiver, but he just got a halfback, so there's Tyreek Hills all over the place. Um, Chiefs got some really good guys to mix in. Now, Mike Daniels gets the short tackler uh, chemistry, and Mike Daniels has always played really well. He's not the sexiest card in Ultimate Team because... You know, he doesn't have the flashy J.J. Watt name, or he doesn't have the Vic Beasley speed, or he doesn't have this or that, but just rock solid Leonard Williams style, Howie Long level, strength, block shed. And then look at this finesse move, 94 for the, a guy that size with 85 power move mixed in. Good play rec. He, his, even if you just go play with a game with the Packers, like Mike Daniels somehow makes tons of plays. So this ultimate team version should be really good, plus he's going to tackle for you. Uh, there's a Morgan Burnett hidden in here. I need a Randall Cobb in my life, but there isn't one. Uh, Mike Mitchell, the free safety, gets short tackler as well. And this guy's right up there with um, the Ha Ha Clinton Dix. He's up there with some of the best safeties. He's got that Trinity, 91 speed, 90 zone coverage, and then 89 play rec. You got to get that to 90. Maybe that's a Tom Bahali motivator, but he also has 94 hit power. So normally guys with this speed and coverage, they don't have this pop in their bat, unless it's a legend like a Sean Taylor, Brian Dawkins, but even the Dawkins is only 88 speed. So this Mitchell is gonna be seen on a lot of fields. His price is shooting up right now, but something to consider. Uh, James Harrison's hidden in there. He's gonna have good hit power, but be slow, but should hold up in the run game. Um, that's something to look at. There's an identifier center, Hudson, who is rock solid and pass blocking if you need him he's gonna be pricey but that identifier you know how much i like it this gabe jackson's gonna be amazing i bet this reggie nelson's gonna be pretty good uh is that perry riley he's probably got some pop in his back crab she's gonna have some catching traffic very good raiders uh crew right there um vic beasley 94 overall jump the snap look at this speed on vic beasley you know you put him up next to javon curse i'm thinking that these guys are gonna match up pretty equally 90 strength, a little bit low in the block shed. That's really the only knock on Vic Beasley. But, you know, I don't personally use her that, so the jump to snap's not that important to me. But in the right situations, it can be good. He's fast enough up that you could cross man him across defenses and he could drop into coverage for you with that acceleration is amazing. So this is an edge guy who's gonna, you're gonna keep it in, he's gonna rush for you. 
Um, you could even move him inside because finesse moves tend to get in inside when I put curse in there. So I'm excited to compare him because the curse does a really good job. So news legit, Tevin Coleman is one of the best budget backs, so he gets an item. That's something to look at. Uh, there's a, a nice corner hidden back there. That I believe is Alford. I would look into him. And then uh, Taylor Gabriel is a speedster. Levine Tololo, 6'8", so maybe something there. Zach Martin, an identifier with just balance across the board. If you need a, a, a guard, we won't spend too much time on him. There's a, a church, though, mixed in. And then uh, Darren McFadden could be all right. Randy Gregory could have some good excel. But last but not least is Tom Brady. He is the guy. Um, this is the best quarterback in ultimate team with everything except for speed. 95 throw power, 97, 96, 95. Uh, if you need a quarterback, you know, maybe you go after this man in the playoffs, Brady. I think he's going to stay super expensive, so I don't maybe won't go after him myself because I think maybe the Stafford or the Breeze or some combination without that speed, unless you really, you know, want a pocket passer, the speed's always to me going to give you that little bit of edge that I need in my game. So I always hesitate to tell people to go after him, but he's going to not miss throws. I mean, he is going to be the guy. So there's a ton of playoff content, guys. Hopefully this just helped you get a start and, and just know that it's available this morning um, and, and tonight. Like, it came out fast. It's all in game. I saw it uh, live. So hopefully you enjoy it. The, the big note I wanted to make about this playoff content is that the prices across the board have skyrocketed down according to the chat. The chat is saying that prices in the auction house are big time low. Not for this content, but for um, all the other stuff that's out there. So if, you're, if you've been saving coins and waiting to shop, now is the time. Get involved. Let me know in the comments who you're looking to buy, and uh, we'll talk next time. Uh, until then, though, guys, lock up. This is Z Farls signing out.